Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. I want to continue with our series this morning and uh, I pray that God will bless you. My name is Reverend Elphas Bwire, a series of running the race of faith. And this morning, I look at who orders your faith? Who orders your faith? Uh, it's my discussion. Yesterday, we looked at Hebrews and we looked at some portions in Hebrews chapter um, uh, 11. But I want us to look at Hebrews chapter 12. It talks about, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so is easily entangles. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its, its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Who orders your steps? Many of us, and I said it in one of the devotions this week, we look at what people say. We look at what people do not say. You have done a good thing and you think that people are not seeing your governing matters. I've not been able to see the many hours you do for your visitation, the ministry. Some of us have gone forward to sacrifice more time and resources and you're feeling to give up and you're feeling demotivated. You have gone to the bank account and you're feeling injustice of what you receive at the end of the month, maybe in the workplace. And so you're feeling demotivated and you're feeling to quit. You in that marriage and you feel you are not receiving a compliment of the good work you do as a wife or as husband. You are a child in that family and they are doing many things and you're feeling there is no reciprocation of your efforts. The Bible says that we are surrounded with a great cloud of witnesses. Now, leave alone that. He said, now run a race that is marked for you. There is a race that is marked for you, my brother. There is a race that is marked for you, my sister. And this race calls for you to know who is your motivation. Who is your motivation? What motivates your ministry? What motivates your walk with God? And God is in telling us, the Bible tells us that there is Christ that suffered and endured suffering. And as he did that, he calls us that we fix our eyes on him as we run the run, the faith of, of everything. Is Christ your motivator? Is Christ the center of your faith? Is Christ the center of your decision making? Or are you doing whatever you want to do? When you talk about the center and a motivator, he talks of pioneer, the perfecter. We talk of our prince. He's the captain. He's the one who drives everything we do. It is not the things we receive or don't receive. It is not what people say. It is not even our weaknesses and experiences. Here, what we are talking about when you talk who orders your steps or your faith, you are talking about how you look at God with your faith. God is asking us, to be able to look unto him. Do not be discouraged in the team if you are doing the right thing. If people are not complimenting, you are a team leader of a ministry and people are not turning up for practices, do not be demotivated. The, order, the author of our faith is Christ and he will reward you of the same. So look unto him. And when he reigned, when you look at this passage, his life was not easy. He did it with perseverance. He was scorned. He was abused. He was all those kind of negative things. But he did not grow weary. So that is my last and parting shot to you. Do not grow weary in doing good. Do not grow weary in looking unto God. Do not grow weary because of the circumstances you are going through. Fix your eyes on him who is our savior. He orders our steps. He orders our decision. He orders our decision making. He orders our ministry. You started with somebody at one point and you realize they're ahead of you. My friend, do not lose heart because of that. You are in a race and with the driver, the one that is sitting on the steering wheel is Jesus Christ himself. He'll walk with you for that particular contract that you have been given to serve, maybe five years, maybe six years, maybe 10 years, maybe one year, maybe one week, maybe one month, serve. 
knowing that God is the author of that particular thing. He's the driver. He's the captain. He's the pioneer. Fix your eyes on him. Persevere and run to the ends. I want us to pray this morning and I pray that God will bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for our viewers, O oh God. Thank you for blessing them. I pray that you touch each of them, O oh God. Some that are on the verge of discouragement of many things, you will encourage them, O oh God. Some are looking unto you for breakthrough. I pray that you release that breakthrough. Some, O oh God, that have looked at the people around them and they have imagined that they just need to throw in the towel. I pray that you minister to them. You went through this one not new thing and you overcame. May you be the center of our decision making. May you be the center of our faith and our life. We give you praise this morning. And I pray for each one of us, the Lord, as we go to our workplaces in our different places this morning, you may bless us and good do good to us. In Jesus' name, we pray and believe. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldora TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldora. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldora. And our website is eldorit.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.